The magical violet land of Darien was once ruled by Garakaius. His mastery of magic made him immortal, but he found ruling an empire more challenging than conquering it. So, he installed four monarchs of unquestioned loyalty into each of the four kingdoms of Darien. These rulers were his own children. To my firstborn son, Elson, I bequeath dominion over Eremon and the Sigil of Earth. No more thriving or beauteous land exists, and this worthy son will build an even greater kingdom, the marvel of the ages. To my secondborn, Thersha, I give Zon of the Sigil Wind. Wild Thersha, born Huntress, this is your fated home. A timeless, unspoiled paradise of beasts and haunted echoes of Kandra wizardry. And Lochin, third-born and evil bent, I crown you Master of Taros of the Sigil Fire. A crown of thorns, though this hard land might be, you will tame this dangerous realm, or it will tame you. Finally, fair Karenna, sprite of the sea, you shall rule wave-washed Varuna of the Sigil Water. Answer true the Water Sigil's call to brave horizons in ships of wide beam and billowed sail. Garakaius, Mage Emperor of Darien. Garakaius had one more legacy for his children, four Kandra artifacts. These gave each monarch mystic powers to rival his own as well as immortality. If used wisely, these powers could bring new prosperity to the land. But if the force of mana were ever misused, it would slowly but surely bend and twist the children of Garakaius. Beyond that threshold lay disaster, not just for one ruler or one land, but for all of Darien. Within a century, each had absolute rule over their respective land. A century later, Garakaius, the man who had united the known world, vanished without a trace.